Hello, we're live again, and I love doing these live shows. They're new to me um, in the septic tank business, but it means I can actually help you live, right? Instead of you having to search in there and ring me out and wait this and wait that, here I am, I'm live and I'm ready to help you. Now, in this particular video, I'm gonna talk about neighbor wars. And if you're wondering what that line is there, I'm about to show you. Okay, so let me show you the, one of the biggest legal battles that all septic tank owners face, right? Now, let me just give you an example here. This line, I was just starting out drawing, and let me just show you a problem. All right, so let's say that's four terraced houses, and these are the gardens, right? And they're the gardens, okay? Now, when I first moved in to, um, I think, let's say this one. So I moved into this house, right? Now, when I moved in, I didn't know a lot about septic tanks or cesspools, stuff like that. Now, when I first moved in, the tank used to be in the neighbor's garden here. All right, so what happened was this. Everyone's drains fed into into here, all right? And so then, so all the drains fed into the neighbor's property here. And so all the water would come down from here, from that house, right? It was Jim's house. This is my place. This is Andy's. And it all used to come into here and fill this tank up. Now, these, as you've probably gathered, these were all um, terraced houses. In fact, they were like Victorian kind of cottages. And um, so when I moved in, Within a few days, I started getting a bill for 50 quid a week. I was like, what the heck? What's this 50 quid for? Because they said, we've got to empty the tank. Now, Andy next door, there was, um, uh, there, was, there was two adults here. And I think they had like four to five kids, right? There was... Uh, uh two there was one man yeah one woman here uh, in my property here there was two adults and two kids and here there was jim and his wife so i call that two adults right so i suppose all in two four six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people all going into this septic tank <clears throat> every day. And um, I didn't know how they worked, right? But all I knew it was it's filling up all the time. And it was doing my head in. And, we got, and, you know, I just got married then. I didn't have a lot of money coming in and two kids to look after. And it was bleeding me and my wife dry. In fact, it was making us ill. It was making us ill, literally. And... Um, I just didn't know a way out of it. And this went on for about nine, 10 months, and they, there was a, apparently a council had put an order in for this tank to be installed here for all the properties to drain into it. And they had, had to get it emptied every week. Now we had a subsidy, I think. I think it was costing us like 150 quid a week, but the council were paying 80 quid of it. But then the subsidies were gonna run out, and it was gonna take it, right? It was gonna take the price of emptying from flipping, oh, man, I think it's like 90 quid a week. It was going to cost me 150. That's each place, each cottage, right? It was costing me 90 quid a week. That, you know, I know that sounds farcical and ridiculous, but each of us was paying 90 quid a week to get this tank empty. And as I said, it just made me and my wife ill. So I said, look, love, I, I can't stand this anymore got to be a way out so i got builders around i got the council around i got this reverse around that person no one could help me no one would help us 
They didn't know how to help us. But then, funnily enough, I got this septic tank guy around, this sep sep septic tank consultant. And he said, why don't you put your own septic tank in? Mm, I never even thought of it. So anyway, cut long story short, did a load of research, got found out what all the rules and the regulations were, how much it would cost, and that's exactly what I did. Right? I cut myself off, so I um, basically, over the course of a weekend, we decommissioned this pipe, and then basically, I put a septic tank in the garden here, and I put a soak away in, like that. And then the pipe went straight from, um, from basically the pipe now ran straight from our house into our own tank. And it's great. It saved me 90 quid a week. All right, yeah, it cost me, what, a couple of grand to do, but, oh, great. It was great. It's just not having to pay this. It's at least like 400 quid a month going up to if they've been... 600 quid a month, it was nuts, you know. Four months would have paid for the flipping tank I put in. But anyway, that changed my life, right? I changed my life. And then the next door neighbor, he said, um, oh, you couldn't do the same for me, could you, mate? So, I did the same for Jim, right? Jim, I put his own tank in. So his pipes came something like that. It's just, yeah. It wasn't as crooked as that, but it's just my drawing. And so I put his own septic tank and soak away in. Like that. And he was happy. And then Andy, so those pipes must have still been going there. Then Andy, what he did, he moved from there into here. Right? And so they're still carrying on paying for 90 quid a week, those two are, getting their um, own system done. Now, in fact, I'll tell you what happened. Actually, Andy bought, we moved, right? And he bought our house. And so he then had everything rooted into here. That's it, spurred off into there. And so the woman then was left, because she, she wouldn't have been... You know, we tried to reason with her, we begged her, please let us put a soak away in or sort your tank out. No, 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 go away, you're paying the 90 quid a week, all of you. Ah, 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 ah. We're like stuck in her iron grasp, you know, a grip. But um, yeah, so that's how I broke off. So this is a typical scenario, right, of neighbor wars, as I call it. If you're stuck in a house going into someone else's tank. I've been there. I got the solution, and that's what I did 20 years ago. I found my own solution and got out of it. And so I can help you too. I can help you break free from neighbor wars. If you're stuck, right, and tied into someone else's septic tank system, if you're stuck and tied into someone else's septic tank, I can help set you free. I mean that. I've set myself free, and that's what I do. And so basically, I help people. Not only, obviously, you know, I obviously help them choose the right products and stuff like that. Of course I do. And I do sell to septic tanks, but primarily, I help people find solutions to their septic tank and soak away problems. That's what I do. That's why I love doing. And so if you want me to help you and you want free advice and you want free help, then just go to septictank.co.uk. You take care now.